previously on Disguise 6, Defiance of Destiny. Well then. Can't say I didn't see this coming. Because we've been finding the cost of destructors for like the past four stages now, so honestly this did not have come as a, as a surprise. Uh... Doesn't that make one hell of an answer though? And now back to, um, a new antagonist. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world. In this mysterious world of adventure, it's said that Overlord Ivar will grant the wish of he who gathers seven orbs. Dragon Ball. Please, give me the power to kill Cerberus! Very well, I shall grant Oh, um, a genie, I guess. Woohoo! I've become a Super Zedian! This, no, it, it, this, this is, is back of my why me? The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. Well, we show up, and nobody knows. Hmm. Said. I'm fine. Don't worry about me, Melodia. Bobby, are you and Melodia going oh to Oh my god. <laughs> it's, an it's an train of thought. Oh, it's never going to go away. N no, why would we? Aww, I just thought Bubby and Melodia looked nice together. This game is obviously shipping these two. My, you're such a sweet girl, Pico. La 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 to our happy ending we go! Santa's not amused. Yay! <laughs> I love happy endings! Everyone, look at that! Huh? Is that a statue of Mishuel? Ah, so here that is. Hometown? Hmm. This must be his world or something. Who's the lady by his side? His love interest, maybe? <laughs> After we discussed that, this is the legendary weird to get. <laughs> Guys, please. I've seen her before. She's the one who. I can only remain in this world a little while longer. But before I go, please listen. I will tell you how to save your sister. My. I never imagined the legendary witch and the Super Sage were connected. <laughs> it's almost like I figured it out from the moment that, that cutscene played. Hmm. Do you think this is Super Reincarnation's doing, or is it another one of Mishuel's traps? Who cares? I'm just here to tear Cerberus to pieces. Bobby. Act 2. The truth comes out. Episode 4. Reincarnation's Crossing. Don't cross the reincarnation scenes now. <laughs> For a wrong move and you'll be reincarnated to somewhere else entirely. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're nice to me. Not busy grieving over the loss of his lost one. She's got a feeling. Soup. Oh yeah, also there's these three things that I've been waiting to get to, so... I guess we can start them off. Don't know what they are here for, but... We can see, I guess. Zombie Light is dead, it's a reincarnation man! Destruction! The new four can see is better than one down and cast super reincarnation on him! Where the hell are you going, Zombiden? 
Where the hell am I? Why are my legs all chained up? I'm hoping we can't lose a leg. Does a dinosaur queen coming that's that? Anyway, what the hell's going on here? Oh. System tags from the sky of flame. Yes. <laughs> I forgot it. I got these from the season pass. <laughs> Guess I generally forgot. Who's there? You need to take such a rude tone with me. <laughs> I'm Al. His top is on modification and dissection. <laughs> uh, that seems more like he meant locked up. The standards of one of the first treating someone as dangerous is an act of delinquency. I'll kill you a million times. <laughs> Intellectual curiosity. <laughs> Who would have a to dissect this case curious? <laughs> Slowly and painfully. <laughs> On Blaketanium. More like Blaketanium. Eventually heal. <laughs> Do you design more power? <laughs> of course it's Mao. That wasn't boys. I'll kill you a million times. How do you know about that? I don't know. Looking at you. One piece is soon enough. <laughs> Missile. <laughs> your life didn't even hesitate hmm. he's a lobby he's very persistent This always happen to me. I'm staying me. Here I go. The unparalleled overlord Ivar. Nico's got it, buddy. This might have been a mistake to do this without actually getting everybody to a good level. Not enough all the damage is being dealt out at once. I'll modify you. <laughs> Beginning experiment. Let's go. See. Pew. Even if I fall. My courage never Here goes. Will. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my thing of training. I'll just be right back. Hello, it's me. It's only happening. Let's go, everyone. Go. Good well. Hello, well. What happens when you get in my way? Why 
What an incredible strength! I just faced the least crazy people before, but now I came back stronger. What the hell is this? Splendid. Nani? Oh. Ah. That zombie army damage ain't dead. <laughs> Don't come any close to you, creep. That's what makes it so creepy. <laughs> Yay! One of the allies I am never using because I already have a good I, I already have a good team. Even if it's mostly just made up of main characters and D DLC. <laughs> what have you say? <laughs> Might be. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for telling me that because I don't have the the, the, the sky game. <laughs> also, thanks for breaking the fourth wall. I mean, it didn't help that I saw you in the previous sky game. So that didn't. <laughs> Didn't help. The link with this. Experiment. Experiment. <laughs> you never change, Mal. I guess it might as well actually get some story progress in that over here. Oh, it makes sense. Prism Red reporting. I just finished surveying the surrounding area. And. What did you find? Apparently, everyone in this world sees Super Sage Mizual as some sort of hero. He and his lady friends supposedly restored this barren land, saving the people here from starvation. That guy saved these people? Nah, I don't buy it. Well, maybe before he died. Maybe we've been brought to Super Sage Mizual's world before he... Uh, lost his way. Don't lose your way. Except he did. Another super reincarnation into the past? That does seem to be a real possibility. This is Serbi's past? Something really sad must have happened here. <laughs> Jeez, almost like we're foreshadowing something here. None of that matters. I don't know what the hell happened, but nothing's gonna make up for him hurting Biko. I'll never forgive him. Agreed! I too shan't forgive him. Bubby? Mr. Overlord? I know you're getting mad for Biko, but I still want to go back home with Bubby and Serby, so we can be a family again. <laughs> Even though he's no longer a dog at this point. Rapscallion shall pay for trampling on this little angel's feelings. Ah, you well, know. What is going on? Is it another god of destruction? <laughs> Perhaps it's the original. No, I'm detecting multiple energy signals. It's a group of demons. I can feel their malevolence. Don't let your guard down, any of you. Oh, that's two foot stage? Okay. Stuff is kind of gotten to this point, but <laughs> the game has allowed for this. <laughs> so it kind of has come out of this. But it still clearly isn't that major of a sweep so far, as you can see. Or at least it's not before I but. You know. Just saying. Leave it to me. 
Besides, I need to be over even more overpowered anyways. <laughs> what was up with those demons? Those wicked demons were trying to take the city. <sighs> ah, so we all went to pass. Oh, you're the lady from the statue! <laughs> you know, we're moving the one statue from before us, more accuracy from a train of thought. Hey! Where the hell is Hmm? Cerberus? I believe he may be known as Misual here. Oh? Are you friends of his? Nah. <laughs> Who the hell would be friends with a guy like that? Maybe she would? Pardon me for the late introduction. I am Reliza. Thank you very much for saving our city. Unfortunately, Misual is away at the moment. More of those demons will likely take advantage of his absence to attack. It isn't safe here. You must flee while you can. Nah, I think I'm gonna stick around and see what happens. Bobby? Are you curious about Serbi? No, it's not that. I just want to know why he'd betray you and me like that, Biko. <laughs> Maybe because he lost his support and go in his life. Sheesh, I don't know. Why don't you think that? <laughs> Isn't that an admission of curiosity? Shut up already! <laughs> Do you have the specifics? Do I even just like dashing good looks? Now you're telling me he's got a great personality too? How blessed is this man? <laughs> <laughs> Still want to prove a Z though. You gotta be kidding me. I don't know. Maybe it's because this person died. It's not like this chapter was foreshadowing down entirely, Z. Sheesh. Good lord, even I'm starting to see the pounds coming. And I have not even gotten past this point since then. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm not to hear good stuff about him. <laughs> Almost like you need to get used to it. Or well, something to that effect. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you and <laughs> Yes. We've traveled together for a long time, seeking to master the magical arts. We were only passing by this land, but after bringing life back to it, we ended up staying longer than intended. At some point, we began thinking of this peaceful place as home. Uh, um, I hate to interrupt your tale, but would you mind telling me about this magical wand of transformation? Oh my! I made that for the children of the city. How did you come to possess it? Uh, how do you undo the transformation? Please, <laughs> tell me! <laughs> he really wants to be out of this for one so badly. <laughs> Terribly sorry, but this was a failed creation. Once used, it's impossible to restore your former appearance. Therefore, I sealed it away in a safe location and even included a warning, just in case. <sighs> that can't be. This was my only hope. You can't change the future. Who cares about that? Anyway. <laughs> I care! <laughs> so, anyway... Why is this place being attacked? What's going on here? Ah, yes. This peaceful place changed when an ancient ruin was unearthed. The DNA of a Majin who is said to have almost destroyed the entire universe was discovered within. Ah, so this is the origin of that DNA. Okay. It's time to understand you. Majin DNA? Rumors spread like wildfire, which drew the attention of the seven demon lords who seek to rule all netherworlds. You know, because we gotta have something. 
some of the most some equally important powerful things to people. Aware of the danger, Misha will set off on his own in order to find a way to prevent the DNA from being used. Speaking of which, isn't that the catalyst for creating a god of destruction? How awful! That means this is where it all began! Speaking of which, more demons? Oh no! More demons are attacking! Yep. Bobby? I hear you. We just need to protect this lady. Let's go! Auto battle! Do do do! Do 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 do! Going through this at a super fast pace! Going super fast! Bada boom, bada shoot! Bada boom! Boom. Just as I predicted. Thank you very much, everyone. With Mijuel away, I never would have managed to defend this place on my own. Then why haven't you run away? Huh? If you stay here, you'll die. Just hurry up and go! I can't do that. You see, a great number of people who live here depend on me. Not only that, but the whole universe will be in danger if the Majin's DNA falls into the hands of those demons. You care more about other people's lives than your own? <laughs> You're one weird lady. That's how people work, Zed. But maybe that's precisely why Cerberus fell in love with her. Can we stop fooling doing her at this point? It's getting weird. Love? The power of love? What good is that? Oh, don't you know? The power of love is invincible! If that were true, we'd all have it easy. I don't need love to beat the god of destruction. I need power. While it may not make you invincible, the power of love is great. You just don't know what love is yet. I once... <sighs> Shove it! I'm not interested in your stupid puppy love! Unfortunately, that isn't possible. One cannot change the past. Not even super reincarnation is that powerful. Are... are you certain of that? I am. I've seen the results with my own eyes. While you can relive your life, you can't alter destiny itself. Even if you wish to undo past tragedies, fate won't change. You'll simply relive those tragedies over and over again. Long ago, a man repeatedly super reincarnated to save his beloved, who had become a god of destruction. He fought until his body fell to pieces. In the end, he could neither change her fate nor undo her transformation. I'm playing a lot of these games, but. <laughs> No matter how hard people try, I it's just you, know, you can't change destiny and all that. Three that's happened twice now. The god of destruction must be killed. That man who lost everything and was reduced to a dog was forced to accept that truth. If we piece together all the things he has said. It isn't difficult to guess how this is going to turn out. <laughs> it's almost like this is foreshadowing something. Mijuel super reincarnated countless times in order to change Eliza's fate. I love how all these people are just saying it in the background. <laughs> While Zed is specifically talking to Eliza. However, he came to the conclusion that he could not alter the course of the past, nor fate, and fell to despair. Despair is everywhere in the same, even in distant worlds! <laughs> As a result, he decided to use the God of Destruction to destroy the entire universe. Poor Servi. But if we manage to save Reliza here, 
We might be able to stop Prism Pop. <laughs> Are you positive about that? You just say that for, can't you can't hold your destiny, you know that. Is it possible to do so? After countless attempts, not even a mage of Mizual's caliber could achieve that. It surely won't be a simple task, but we can't afford to give up. That's what I've been saying. I'm sick of all this fake crap. I don't care if she is Cerberus's girlfriend. If this is what it comes down to, we're just gonna have to change fate ourselves. Yeah, that was a long cutscene. And a fairly Victorian hat. Sounds an idiot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe I guess it's your costly. It's been a while, so. Really, not now. The plans have already been drawn. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> Ignore me, useless. Ah, uh, human. Follow me, please. Human's great. Do I miss him? Great. I can't believe Mizuel would one day seek to destroy the entire. Well, believe it. He's caused me and my sister a buttload of suffering. Bubby! Don't be so mean! It's not her fault! Uh, well, yeah, maybe not, but... I'm sorry you two were dragged into this dreadful vortex of reincarnation. Don't worry, we're the Prism Rangers! We'll protect you, and change your fate! You'll see! Anyone waiting on uh, to be precisely fast in like a few minutes? But even if I survive here and now, it won't change the fact that I died in the dimension you originated from. Yes, it's gonna cause a split time, and it's not gonna be any different from yours. No matter how hard one tries, the past is immutable. But... Prism Rangers... Go, go, Prism Rangers! However, if my death could somehow be prevented, it may be possible to save this visual soul. Save my soul? Oh, hey. Cerberus! Who exactly are all of you? And why do you want to save my soul? What the hell? Don't you recognize us? <laughs> Zed, you realize you are in the past, right? How could I? I've never even seen you before. Oh? What is this all about? I understand. This is the Mishual who has been super reincarnating all alone after losing Reliza. What the hell are you talking about? It means that both Zed's and Mishual's super reincarnation paths have crossed. Could this be mere coincidence? Coincidence or something even more? So you've come here, have you? Damnable slaves of greed and harbingers of death! Mishual, are you from a timeline after I perish? Yes, I am. I'm so sorry, Mishual. This is all my fault. No, I'm the one at fault. I couldn't protect you. But this time will be different. This time I will save you. Cerberus kept super reincarnating to save someone important to him just like I did. Me and my rotten brain kept charging forward. But he gave up and chose a different path. That idiot! Now I've gotta kick his ass twice! Just gonna battle these enemies. Don't mind us. 
all these manga screaming like eagles for whatever reason is still something I can't understand why. These times are not really helping at all. They just keep expanding, and that's the end of the stage, that's all I have to say. This is surprising. That power of yours is unbelievable. Who or what are you? Me. I'm just a zombie. You are no ordinary zombie. I can sense unfathomable magic power deep within you. C could it be? Are you a Majin? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? I'm just a plain old zombie. No, there's no mistaking it. This ominous aura. You must be the legendary Majin. The one who almost destroyed the entire universe in ancient times. That's one hell of a loop. That's one hell, hell of a... <laughs> That's one hell of a jump. That can't be true, Prince Zed. No. I too am surprised, but... Given all the research I've done on its DNA, I am absolutely certain. So a Majin... Resurrected into a, a zombie? A little strange. If any. This is quite an unsettling revelation you have laid before us. I too suspected you were no ordinary zombie, but I never imagined you could be a Majin. Uh, Prism Zed's true identity is Prism Majin Zed? No fair! That sounds way cooler! And also sounds a lot more deadly when you put it that way. <laughs> I could tell from the start. From the moment we met, I knew you were more than a mere zombie. All these people act against us they knew all along. Bullshit! You really are full of it. Who was the one that kept looking down on me for being just a zombie? All of you, please. You must lend me your strength. With your help, perhaps, we will be able to change fate. Please, you must bring salvation to Mizual Soul. Don't mess with me, damn it! Because of you guys, me and Biko. Come on, Bobby. We gotta help him. Uh... Bobby, please. <sighs> um. After that. Ah, that's quite a tale. So, you've also been super reincarnating. Yeah, and it's all because we got caught up in your stupid plan. Whatever it is. I can't believe I sought such a resolution. My apologies. This is all because my heart was... too weak. Huh? Since when did you have manners? <laughs> because this is a different mission mode than the one you know? Well, we are talking to Mizual before he fell into despair. He was known to be an upstanding individual. I still kind of want to tear him apart. But I guess this guy isn't the Cerberus we know. <laughs> Yo, when can I do an interview with the submission? <laughs> it's margin. Just skipping out battle. Any time this chapter wanna end soon. Mizual, what happens after this? Unable to fully withstand the demon's attacks, Reliza uses the Majin's DNA on herself to protect the city. 
Huh? But if she does that, then... Correct. Eliza becomes a god of destruction. <sighs> you would never hesitate to sacrifice yourself to protect the people. I suppose you're right. After annihilating the demonic forces, Reliza was unable to cease wreaking havoc. In order to stop her, I had no choice but to take her life. I became obsessed with saving her, which led me to develop super reincarnation. However, no matter how many times I super reincarnated, or what I did differently, it always ended the same. In that case, why not destroy the God of Destruction's core? That's how we were able to save Biko. I tried that too, but still I was unable to change Reliza's fate. Huh. So why did, we, why did it work as Biko then? No matter what I did or how many times I tried, it made no difference. Reliza is destined to die. That's the worst tragedy I've ever heard. We must turn this into a happy ending! Don't you agree, Prince Zed? <laughs> this jerk doesn't deserve a happy ending. Bobby! Okay, okay. I'll fight the demons when they show up, alright? Alright! Oh no! The demons have arrived! No! I'm detecting multiple high-energy signatures! They're all... gods of destruction! Ah, so this is the simplest now we know. Or the miserable now we know. Whatever the case. These are gods of destruction? This can't be. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Damn it. What the hell's going on here? This may be an unforeseen effect of Zed's super reincarnation path crossing with Mizuals. As the vortex of reincarnation becomes so twisted that it's trying to swallow us whole, oh god of fate, would you truly go this far to prevent us from changing her destiny? Screw this crap! I'll beat this god of fate into the ground too if I have to! No, we can free of them. I shall lend you my strength. Hello, it's me. Oh, one's down. Another one's down. But these are gameplay wise, but story wise. Bobby, uh, are you okay? Stay back, Biko. Don't come near me. Prince Zed. Hey, you're a super sage, aren't you? Do something. It appears his body has surpassed its limits. He is currently in the process of awakening as a margin. Ah, so that's what all of those hobbies were. What? He'll succumb to a nigh uncontrollable urge to destroy. Nothing can be done. As an ancient margin, it's in his blood. If this continues, he'll fully transform. In other words, he'll become the true god of destruction. Bobby? A god of destruction? This can't be. Hmm. Cerberus most likely knew Zed was the ancient Majin, which is why he pushed him to super reincarnate. Yeah, that would explain all the times we had to super reincarnate. His plan was to awaken Zed's Majin blood over the course of his battles, therefore destroying the entire universe. His real target was Zed all along. He used Sweet Biko as bait so that Zed would awaken as a Majin. That foul, dastardly swine of a man! No freaking way! I won't let him get what he wants! I'm not gonna turn into some stupid Majin! No way in hell! Yeah, I mean, we'll see. 
If we can see. Follow me. We'll see. What's this? Uh, we've already had our fill of gods of destruction. Thank you very much. Nope, there's even more of them. What? How can this be? Oh, cursed god of fate. It seems you wish to take Reliza from me no matter what. If you must take a life, take mine. Enough, Mishua. I've been fated to die from the very beginning. Please, forget about me. You deserve to live a happy life. No, I refuse. How could I possibly live a happy life without you by my side? Oh yes, I completely understand how he feels. It's as if I'm watching my own love story with Prince Zed here. <laughs> this game is really making this ship stink in Melodian and Zed here happen. Really forcing it upon me, game, and I don't like it. Quit daydreaming, you moron! This ain't the time! Oh! So you really are getting married, Bobby? L like hell I am! Eliza, no matter what happens, even if we aren't from the same dimension, I. I know. No matter how many times I'm reborn, I'll always love you. Hey! How long are you guys gonna drag this sappy scene out? Don't you dare give up without a fight! If that god of fate is getting in the way, just kill him! Watch and learn! I'll show you how to take fate into your own hands! By killing the ones we have right in front of us. Simple. Just do it what we always do. For the battle. Ah, that's not. There's two more. Thought it was aware of them. Two. Let's begin. Follow me. Yes, I'll do it. It's finally over. I don't think I hit the max unless I actually you get the email. Is it over? It seems so. Does this mean... We did it! Fate can be changed! I'm waiting for the punchline here. That means I can save the Mizra as well! Ready for the punchline. Yeah! If our seven lights all come together as one, nothing is impossible for the Prism Rangers! <laughs> it would seem a ray of hope has begun to shine upon us. Thank you. All of you. I couldn't have done it alone. What are you going to do from now on? There is already a version of me in this timeline. He will go on to live happily with Reliza. Mishua. Worry not, Reliza. I couldn't be any happier. Knowing that you're alive is enough for me. My journey has finally come to an end. All that's left for me to do is live out the rest of my days in solitude. Be well, Reliza. I wish you nothing but happiness. Thank you, Mishua. Are you sure this is how you want to leave? I am. There's no need for two visuals in this timeline. If I stayed, it would only complicate things further. <laughs> you big softy. I'm sorry, Zed, but I have one last request of you before I go. <sighs> All right, I'm listening. What is it? I know I don't have any right to ask you this, but I want you to stop the other me, the one who did those awful things. If you're talking about that jerk, Cerberus, there's no need to ask. I was planning on putting him down anyway. I'm relieved to hear that. Thank you. And farewell. 
Thanks, Bobby. Why are you thanking me, Vico? Because you helped Sabi. Uh, I didn't really help him. I just thought that fate stuff was stupid. That's all. My prince said, you may not be honest with your feelings, but you did look awfully dashing back there. Whatever. I didn't do it to impress you or anything. Aw, Bobby. So you two are getting married. This game is really trying to ship this pair on me and I still don't like it. No, we're not. All right, it was fine those few times, but now it's kind of boring. Let's <laughs> so I can send that stupid Cerberus straight to hell. Ah. Ah. Zed, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Zed, if you keep pushing yourself like this, you will become a Majin. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I'll finish this way before I gotta worry about that. Let's go! Super Reincarnation! Cerberus? You really are an idiot. You should have just asked me and Biko for help when you first met us. You're always bottling stuff up inside. You damn moron. <laughs> Infinite reincarnation! Infinitum! But not even as I've reached the end of the saves and now I have to start from the beginning. Cool. That's that's about the number of my saves. <laughs>